The Omu institution is indigenous to Anyama people of Delta State. Usually, when a daughter is selected for the exalted title of Omu, if she is married, she is required to return to her paternal home to superintend the women folk, and she is bestowed male rights. She has a palace and appoints her chiefs. Her office is saddled with enormous spiritual and administrative responsibilities, and it is only occupied by women chosen specially and prepared solely for the task. Asaba has five ruling quarters, and the Omu ship is rotational among the ruling quarters. Hence, it is the turn of the Umuagu quarter. The Umuagu community of the Asaba kingdom began a search for the next Omu of Asaba. To make a very long story short, Dr. Ada Biosa, after 42 years stay in the United States of America, she began to receive notice from Asaba, alerting her that the Umuagu community had unanimously nominated her as the chosen one to become the next Omu of Asaba Kingdom. And the entire Asaba Kingdom approved her on March 8, 2015. That led to the celebration which took place at Asaba Palace on December 26, 2015. It was a gathering of sons and daughters for the advancement of Anyoma culture. Traditional chiefs, top government functionaries, among other guests, well dressed with aquacha, all ran to felicitate with Obi Dr. Ada Biosa as the 14th Omu of Asaba. The occasion started with traditional greetings in order of hierarchy, and the Asaba of Asaba, Professor Chike Edoze, did the traditional breaking of Kola <laughs> I go. I go. I go. I go. I go. The Asagba took time to brief all present on the significance and traditional function of Omu of Asaba. <laughs> Nineteen sixty seven, 
no doubt about the Chief's law. On the recommendation of the Council, the way the new law moved as one of the four traditional chiefs in the Nassau. The one of the four traditional chiefs. The other three, the other presidents, the ESA, the Dogu, The only woman of high by own right, no position. When we say 1995, you will see not a poor woman, or who made the highest social title in the United States. In 1995, when they said, or who not only not achieve, but they should
already separated. So we think of another philosophy. And when I see a separate, a separate term, and he has a separate term, and then the end, the end, the The installation and conformance moment is here. Chief Henry Ukolo, the Alanza of Asaba, read her citation and Asaba conferred her the title and she took the oath of office. Obi Ada Wanna Maka Biosa for installation by His Royal Majesty the Asabu of Asabu. Going to the origin 1954 to Chief Obweshi engineer Sonny Ntua Bozo Biosa of Ogo Nishi Waters, Umuago Asaba, and Chief Mrs. Elizabeth Nebuogo Biosa, Ni Ezeford of Umuaji Waters, both now of blessed memory. Their beautiful daughter. Ada standing before us was named appropriately as Adamwana Maka, and she 
He is the first of six children born to their union. Ada began her elementary school at a modern private nation, and this gained her admission to the very prestigious Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia, in the United States. Not only did she gain the admission, she actually was on full academic scholarship. In 1973, with 100 support from her parents, she journeyed to US to study biology and pre-med at the Spelman College. She indeed was one of our first ladies of our Saba origin to relocate to the US to pursue her studies at that time. At the Spellman College, she achieved and maintained a position of academic honor throughout her tenure. She was also on the dean's list each semester spent at the college and was awarded the Atlanta University Award for Excellence in Biological Sciences and selected to be an NAACP pre-med summer program scholarship recipient. She was also